This hot mess is a double-decker grilled cheese sandwich with romesco sauce. I know, a regular grilled cheese sandwich is always great, but wait until you add a second floor. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my double-decker grilled cheese recipe with a tomato and red pepper romesco sauce and this incredible creamy no tomato tomato dipping sauce I made that has become my new favorite thing. So why add a top deck to an already great sandwich? Well, sometimes I like to add a little more to my grilled cheese sandwich. You know, mushrooms, fried onions, bacon, and a double decker adds more structure, holding it all together better, and it opens up so many more possibilities. And if you're still wondering why, well, you know how everyone loves Kumail Nanjani because he's so funny, and then he got like super jacked to become a superhero, and then the internet lost its mind? Well, this sandwich is the Kumail Nanjani of grilled cheese sandwiches. And if none of this is making any sense, well, I just became a dad again last week, so we have a teeny tiny baby at home and I'm not getting much sleep. Anyway, let's start by getting three slices of bread ready. I happen to have this French loaf from Costco, but anything will work. Sourdough, brioche, white bread, sliced, not sliced, whatever you got. While many channels will tell you to use butter, which is great, I'm on the mayo side of things, so put mayo on the top and bottom piece and for the middle piece, get both sides. If you aren't sure about mayo, and I wasn't either at first, but I did give it a second chance. I prefer it because of the oil's higher smoke point to butter, but you can always use ghee if you really want that butter taste. You can chop a few thin slices of cheese, but now I prefer to grate my cheese because it makes it easier for it to melt. I really like cheddar, so I'm using two kinds and mixing them together. I recommend medium to medium hard cheeses, cheddar, Havarti, Gruyere, Gouda, Emmental, or slices of good old American cheese if you really want that ooey gooey factor. I'm also gonna prep some Parmesan to melt on the outside for that added extra crispy cheesiness. I have my Romesco sauce ready. I'll share the recipe below, but I'll be making a full video on that later. All right, to a hot pan we go. Make sure the heat is on medium to medium low. You don't wanna burn the entire thing, but you may get some crispy edges by the end, which is totally normal. Fry up the three slices of bread. I'm gonna fry up both sides of the middle piece. This is to warm up the center and it'll help melt the cheese inside and it'll make sure that the entire sandwich has fully melted cheese. I'm adding the cheese to the first side within the first minute, then, once the middle piece has a little brown color to it on both sides, pop it on top of the first piece. Once that's nice and secure, add your romesco sauce to the second floor. Here's where you can add basil pesto, which is also great, and of course mushrooms, bacon, or Thanksgiving turkey for all I know. Add your second layer of cheese, then place the top piece of bread on. Prop the sandwich onto the spatula, and here is where I add the little bits of Parmesan to the pan, and then flip the sandwich on top and let it fry for a bit. I then cover it and let the heat melt the cheese. Just do the same for the second side. Cover it again for a minute or two on low heat, or until the cheese is completely melted. This is where it can start to burn, so keep an eye on it. And if you don't have a lid, tent it with foil. And that's it. I know the grilled cheese and tomato soup are like the Mario and Luigi of food, so I wanted to combine the sandwich with a unique tomato flavor, and that's why I love adding romesco. And the second floor really keeps this thing together. As a bonus, I made this really delicious creamy tomato dipping sauce that I wanted to share with all the flavor of a tomato without the tomato. Start by adding one fourth to a half a cup of mayo, depending on how much sauce you want, and then use a microplane or a grater to grate seven to 10 cherry tomatoes or however many tomatoes you want for the consistency you want for the sauce. And obviously adjust it if you're using medium to larger sized tomatoes. You may want to pierce the tomato first, otherwise you'll have seeds flying everywhere. I love using cherry tomatoes because of the variety in their juice. It adds a lot of flavor, acidity, sweetness, and umami. 
and the seeds offer up a really nice crunchy texture. Add salt and pepper to taste, and you can add a little hot sauce or chili flakes if you want to add a little heat and color to it. And then you can add a little tablespoon of sour cream for an additional level of complexity and flavor. And enjoy! I mean, this is a really great, delicious grilled cheese sandwich that's creamy, cheesy, tomatoey. I mean, there's a lot going on and it's a real pleasure to eat. Thanks for watching. I hope you give this a try. Please subscribe below and leave a comment and check out this video I did on San Marzano tomatoes. I'm gonna catch a nap and I'll see you in the next one.